Hi everybody. I should have included this in my last video, but I didn't, so this is an addendum to that video. I will link below to this map, which shows you the precise areas that have red flag warnings. And apparently these red flag warnings extend to Sunday. Goes right on up to Reading but doesn't include Reading, and the more you zoom in, the more areas you can see. Watson, Griffin Place, Copper City, Elk Creek, Willows, Upper Lake, Lakeport, Lower Lake, Middleton, Yuba City, Sacramento, Woodland, Elk Grove, Stockton, San Jose area, Modesto, San Benito, Parkfield. So you can check to see if you actually live in these areas. Goes right on up to Yosemite's, the Sahara National Forest, Los Padres, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Oxnard, Long Beach, Anaheim, San Bernardino, Riverside. All right. Um, and as for this press conference, this video that I included, I can't see anywhere where the date of this press conference is, but I do not believe it is from today. Because we would be able to get some news on that press conference, and I am so sorry that I included it in that video. So I want to get this video up to say that that was a press conference clearly from when the lilac fire was raging and the only thing that they have spotted so far is smoke seen from an, uh, from underneath a bridge but San Diego is not out of the woods due to what they claim are the Santa Ana winds um, that alone is enough to give you red flag fire warnings now. And this here, the San Diego Union Tribune, I have not seen anything on it today. And this is very sad. The nightmare at Saint San Luis Ray Downs leaves pain for the horses. 46 horses died just there. Other horses died other places. Ventura. So I needed to make clear that that press conference was not from today. Because yes, it could very well scare people. Firefighter died. He was from San Diego. Okay. Thanks, guys, for being patient with me.